Welcome to part 42 of Wind Waker, and this is the collectathon part, so uh, if it's too boring for you, wait till part 43, because that's when we actually get back to Ganon's Tower. Otherwise, the collectathon begins here in Six Side Reef, where we go into this submarine, which happens to house a <clears throat> piece of heart. Now, in order to get said piece of heart, we're gonna need to beat the Moblin that's here. Or should I say three Moblins? And if they come out one at a time. Of course I get punched. Why don't I? Yeah, but for the most part, at least the Moblins are weaker since I got the Master Sword. Because that right there would have took like three quarters of a heart every time I got punched by those things. Okay, Moblin number two. Time to get wrecked, son. Time to get wrecked. Come on. Come on. Get over here. There we go. And let's switch the boomerang for the skull hammer. And let's shatter that son of a bitch. Oh, that feels so good. <coughs> oh, damn it. I accidentally broke that. Hey, but the good news is, at least I picked up some hearts. Hey, hey, hey! Take that! And dead! And that should be all three of them. Those are the only things you have to do, you have to kill in order for you to get the ladder to come down. Now, here is the thing. Um... Aside from that... In the barrels and in the jars, there are choo-choo. You might... And also those things, too. Ugh, how annoying. Okay, I did not mean to use the hurricane spin. And throw, and... Of course, choo-choo. While the Choo Choo aren't really important, if you haven't gotten Choo Choo Jelly by this point, by all means, they're going to be right here. Okay, get off me! So, with that said, this will be the last one. Oh, a yellow one! How nice! Oh, wait, that actually kills them? Hmm, go figure! Did not know that. Starting to like the ice arrows more. So, now that everything's been destroyed, let's go up and see if they have any jars in there. Hopefully they do. I don't think they do. Nope. Oh well. With that said, that makes art piece number one. And now, it's off to Five Star Island for the next heart piece. And next submarine, actually. As a matter of fact, jump cutting is gold, because we'll be traveling a lot of islands in order for to get the heart pieces that we need. Let's see, uh, I'm gonna need this and this, that'll work. So, let's see what kind of... Oh. Oh. It's nothing but... Goku Goblins. And Keeps. That, that's pretty much all it's here. I guess that's the... I guess that's gonna work. Yeah, stupid me. You should not have done that. You should have just focused on the Boku Coblins and just went on with it, but, well, that's not really the case. Alright, I'm just going to deal with the keys because I don't want to have them interrupting me while I'm killing these guys. And I miss one. Yep, I miss one. You asshole keys, take that! Oh wait, I'm missing another one, am I? Yes, I am. This guy. Oh! 
boomerang. What do you know? The boomerang actually did hit him. I guess. I mean, that'll work. I don't really need a joy pendant here. And what was those water bottles? Oh, forgot that was there. Oh, the water bottles is for the fire keys. Oh, now I get it. But I have ice arrows. There's no point for those bottles. Oh, well. Let's just get the heart and... Oh, that, that was a thing, I guess. It just automatically lit itself. If only all the torches in most of the dungeons were self-lighting. But whatever the case, that makes heart piece number two. And with that, I have 13 heart piece, I mean, 13 full hearts as opposed to 12. So yeah, that's a good start there. And now, we're on Outset Island carrying this big-ass hog. And what is this hog going to be for? Let's grab the bait, and we are going to toss this hog over to this pile of dark spaces over here. Now what I'm trying to do with this is to have this hog dig for, heart piece, for a heart piece. And that's how you're going to find it here on this island. I tried to do this before, but I went to the wrong area. Now I'm in the right area, and I'm going to have to grab him and throw him back here again. But be careful, this hog will actually do some serious damage to Link if you anger it. Um, and how do you anger it? I think by throwing it too much. Thankfully, this will be the only time I need to use it. Of course he's running away. Why wouldn't he? Let's bring you back over to this area. God, you're heavy. Now eat that. Ah, he's got... He went to the right area. Thankfully. Oh, excuse me. And there's the heart piece. Now we no longer need the pig services. With that said, we're going back to the Savage Labyrinth on this island. I hate the Savage Labyrinth. I seriously hate the Savage Labyrinth. The only reason why I didn't show it off is because they're all refights. Whatever the case, at the bottom, this is the only most important thing I need to show off is the heart piece and by collecting the heart piece you'll be able to restore your health that's the only good thing about the savage labyrinth man i'm gonna have to get some more refills and stuff man i'll see you later next area we're here actually no we're still here in outset island we need to beat this guy for 500 hits which is different than, well, before, because minimum was 300, but because of the fact that I got Swordsman when I got 400, I have to hit him for 500, so now I have the heart piece. I'm just going to let him hit me. And with that, I now have the heart piece for this guy. So that makes number one of the 15th heart piece. I'm gonna go for 15, cause I really don't need to go any further than that. This game is actually easy enough to beat. So let me just worry about, uh, well first let me break all this stuff. Then, let me just worry about getting some more provisions later. But for right now, we're here on Angler Island. Of course we're going to be here on Angler Island, because there's a heart piece here. What we need to do is move this block around, so that way we could actually... Um, well, actually, I need to push this block, don't I? Yeah, I'm going to have to push this block off. Push it off. Push it off. There we go. And why did I do that? That always happens. 
Now, over in that other island, that actually happens to be a silver rupee. I'm not for silver rupees. I'm going for only heart pieces. I do believe that I had to go over to that block that I just pushed down. I don't need to be over here. Let's see. It's the block that I just put, or this block over here, actually. That'll work. <clears throat> no, wait, that is the block I just pushed down. Derp. But that's okay, I got this. Now pull this out, climb up, and you should get the heart piece easily, because it's in the chest, unless you inadvertently fall off the island. There should be no reason for you to inadvertently fall off the goddamn island. Except maybe that. That's a perfectly good reason. You know, I really should turn those into the professor, but I don't need any all-purpose potions at this point in time. Right now, what I do need is this heart piece. Which actually gave me four heart pieces. What did I mean by fifth heart piece? I mean, <laughs> yeah. Let's go on ahead and get this heart piece over here. Yeah, I managed to snatch. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That was. I already had a half of a 13th heart piece, and I just managed to complete a 14th heart piece. So, with that said, come over here to Rockspire Island's uh, beetle shop and buy this heart piece right here. Oh, and there's a treasure map there, too. But, uh, I don't have enough for the treasure map because it's the same price as the hard piece. And it sat me dry. Oh wait, it's 900. I don't have enough of that. <clears throat> maybe, maybe before I... No, actually, I'm just going to go straight on to beating the game, so... It probably won't be on camera, but I'll probably pick up everything at the end of this playthrough. Oh, no, no, actually, that's going to be off screen. I'll probably do it later, since I know what that is. It's basically leading to a silver ruby. But, we found ourselves another heart piece. In the treasure maps, no less. I do believe the treasure map that I got from Windfall Island leads here. And this is, by the way, Thorn Fairy Island. Make sure you, uh, if you have the treasure map, to come over here to pick that up. Of course, this would confuse you for a Triforce piece. <clears throat> I don't know if they actually fixed that distinction in the HD version, but this is a heart piece, so make sure you pick that up. So let's make heart piece number two. So, let's move on to the next heart piece. Now, this heart piece is headed straight back to Rockspire Island because of the fact that that also is a treasure chart. I'm gonna need this. Yeah, as a matter of fact, it is right next to Rockspire Island. And by the way, that golden ring that appeared at night, that is actually a red rupee. So, yeah. Let's get close enough to Rockspire Island to grab that heart piece. That's basically what I am doing for this whole part. Because the more lives I have, the easier it is to defeat Ganon. Besides, Ganon's really not that hard. It's actually the fight before Ganon that's hard. Whatever the case, let's just mosey on close to Rockspire Island. Probably going to be the last time I visit this in this playthrough. And let's pick up the heart piece. And that makes heart piece number three for the 15th heart. 
Oh, and earlier I meant to say 14. My bad. <clears throat> but this time, I really mean it. This is the third piece for the 15th part. Now for the last piece, which will take place in also trying to get the magic armor. So with that said, we're going to have to talk to Zanari. Not there. And we'll have to talk to Zanari. Okay, not there. We'll have to go to the reception counter. Pass me does not think that this is the reception counter. Ah, uh, pass me, seriously. Go over to the reception counter, which is the next one over. Yeah, she's not stealing anymore. Uh, go over to the reception counter. The counter is over to the left. It's over to the left, you fool. There you go. Thank you. Now then, as I was saying, talk to Zanari. He will tell you that his business is failing. But you see that plant that's back there, or at least that plant statue? That is actually part of a side quest. A side quest that will have you traveling throughout the entirety of the Great Sea. And this is all for magic armor, by the way. So, what is it that we're doing? You see that plant? We're going to actually sell that to another trader. And I did point out where the traders are. They're in Mother and Child Island. Well, basically Child Island. They're also Great Fish Island. And also Bum Island. If I haven't pointed them out... <clears throat> in many of the past episodes, I have now. So, with that said, I will take the town flower and I will go over to Great Fish Island because that's where we need to go. So, in order for us to actually progress on this quest, you're going to need more than uh, 400 rupees. You're going to probably need 600 because of the prices of these uh, items. Yes! I forgot to mention, you will need rupees in order to actually make the exchange. Sorry about that. That was my phone. I thought I turned it down. You will need rupees in order to make these exchanges final. I recommend carrying up to 600 rupees in order for this to actually go through. Because if you don't, well, you won't be able to complete the quest without rupees. Because they happen to charge a fee. Seriously? Who charges a fee? Oh, wait, there's actually a treasure chest. Further, there we go. Hmm. I wonder. Oh wait, I think this is silver rupees. Just in case you're wondering, that was actually one of the charts. I do believe that was chart 29. Yes, that was, and it's a silver rupee. Silver rupees are awesome. So now let's go over and talk to the Goron trader. And since I have well over the amount I need in order for to make these trades happen, let's talk to him. Oh wait, you gotta talk to him, not show. Oh god, don't throw that away. Well, I don't think you can throw it away, but whatever the case, you're gonna have to show off the town flower and he'll trade you for a different flower. Which is the sea flower. So just say sure and also agree to the fee. At first, this fee is going to be 20 rupees. And because of what we did, <coughs> the sea flower will now be available in the 
stall of Zanari. Which, by the way, everything we're doing here also is a side quest for a heart in Windfall Island, where you have to take all of those statues that we'll probably gather by the end of this part and decorate the town with them, but they have to be different types of uh, statues. And I'm not going to go through with that. So let's go over to uh, Great Fish Island. Because on the back of the island was a Goron trader. Who ironically survived the island getting wasted. I still can't believe that that's actually not a temple or something of that nature. I bet you that was supposed to be the water temple. That would be hilarious if that was supposed to be the water temple and then Miyamoto just decided to destroy it. But once again, I make that same mistake of showing off the sea flower instead of talking to the Goron. <clears throat> now then. This guy's also looking for the Shop Guru statue. However, you won't be able to get that until after you do the second half of this quest. Yeah. There's two halves of this quest, by the way. And we just got the bomb flower, which we'll have to spend 25 rupees for. And why is there two halves of this quest? Well, the first half will get you, again, the magic armor. The second half will get you a heart piece. And, again, everything we're doing will go back to, uh, Zunari stall. For the most part, at least I'm gathering enough bombs and replenishing all of my arrows that I spent in the Savage Labyrinth. Now, speaking of Bomb Island, this should be the last location we need to go to. And the person in question should be at the middle of the island, I guess. Okay, time to get out of the water. Last thing I need is to drown. Okay, uh, he should be around here somewhere. There he is. Now, all we need to do is just give him the exotic flower. And that will give us the sickle flag, I do believe. Yeah, I think that's what is... Yeah, I think that's what's supposed to happen. Yeah, sickle moon flag. That's what we get. And that should start off the uh, transitions and the, and also the uh, trading between Breakfish Child and Mother and Child Island. And that's pretty much what's going to happen. So now, after we deal with this... <clears throat> you will want to go over to Windfall Island. And we are going to also talk to Zanari. But needless to say, folks... In order for you to get the heart piece on Windfall Island by taking all those traded goods and decorating the island, we'll have to buy a lot of them. And for the record, you're gonna need like a thousand rupees in order for you to buy all of those decorated items to decorate all the stands you see here. I don't have the rupees for that, and I'm not going to do it. So with that said, since we're talking to Zanari right now, we shall receive the magic armor. And why am I talking about the magic armor even though I probably won't use it in this playthrough? Well, it's a good starting out item. And more importantly, the magic armor will actually carry over to the next game along with the hero's mask and the uh, deluxe pick the box. Yeah, those are among the only things that will be carrying over to the new Game Plus. 
Bear in mind that it does consume magic. It's pretty much like Nehru's love, so that's actually a good thing. Now then, our sea travels aren't done yet because now we have to do the second half of this quest. Which is trading between Windfall Island and also, I mean, Great Fish Island and also Mother and Child Island. So, all we need to do is just, um, <coughs> give the guy the Sickle Moon flag, and then he will give you the Fountain Idol, which that actually will be 65 rubies. Yes, 65 rupees. It's just gonna get higher as we go along. So, the next thing we're gonna do is head over to Child Island so that we can trade that in for something else. So, jump cut. Now, talk to this guy. Oh, and by the way, in case you're wondering, yeah, wither Deku trees. I'm ignoring them. Anyway. Just show off the fountain idol. And he will give you the hero's flag, I think. No, the big sail flag. That's what it is. So, <clears throat> we'll take the big sail flag. And we'll head back over to Great Fish Isle. Oh, it's only 35 rupees. However, the last two items are going to be pretty damn expensive, which is all of a more reason why you need at least 600 rupees in order for to pull this off. And by the way, that's why I'm also breaking the vases that was on those platforms, because they do drop rupees. Sometimes, if you happen to have a full stock of the ammo that you need. So, with that said, let's hop in the boat, and we will use the song of no, the Ballad of Gales to get us over to Great Fish Island yet again. This is where they throw a curveball at you. You think that with all the training that you're doing, you have to go back to Great Fish Island and go back to Mother and Child Island. This is where they throw the curveball. You have to take this next item. And you have to trade it for money to the guy that's here on Greatfish Island. The curveball is, you have to stay on Greatfish Island to trade back that item for something else. However, past me completely forgot about that. So if you see a jump cut and I in the back here on this island, that's why. And if you hear any talking in the background, sorry, that's my sister having a conversation. But, in the most part, we're going to trade off this big sail flag for a hero's flag. So, once you trade off the uh, big sail flag, for I do believe, I think this one's 100 rupees, I'm not sure. The hero's flag is going to be 75 rupees, I was close. But yeah, you do need at least 600 rupees in order to pull this off. Because the next sale is going to be somewhere between 200 rupees or 150 rupees. Yeah, I think it's 150 rupees. <clears throat> so with that, we technically haven't left the island due to editing, but I did leave the island because I was thrown for a loop. What we need to do is, again, sell this back to the Goron Salesman. Again, this will throw everyone off. 
And for those people who says, I got this on my first try, no, no you didn't. This will throw everyone who tries this quest off. You have to sell it back to the guy to get the postman statue. And that'll be a hundred rupees. I thought it was 150, but it's a hundred rupees. I do know, however, the next thing we need to get, which is a shop guru statue, is 200 rupees. Again, you will need 600 rupees in order to pull this off. So, let's head over to the next area, which is again, Child Island. This will get us the, uh, <clears throat> Shop Guru. Sorry I had a dead spot there. I have just, I've been saying it and I can't remember at that one point. That kind of sucks. But, uh, turn out. Wait, 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 wait. Talk to this guy and then afterwards sell him the, uh, or should I say buy from him the shop guru because they're not giving you any money for this. You're actually paying a fee. <clears throat> yeah, this is kind of ridiculous that they're giving you so that they're making you have a fee for this. But whatever the case, this is the last thing that you have to pay for. Just carry it over to the merchant over in Greatfish Isle, and he will more than likely give you a. Hmm, I forgot that was there. Yeah, that's right, there is a blue choo choo there. So if you haven't gotten the choo choo, the choo jelly from this thing, well, there it is. So, let's go over with the Ballad of Gales to Greatfish Island and seal the deal on this quest. This will explain why it's 32 minutes. That's why it took me so long, because I processed this thing and it's really, really long to process. <clears throat> Whatever the case, we are truly done here. So, let us get this shop guru over to the Goron that's looking for the shop guru and finally end this quest and that will give us our 15 hearts that we need to proceed on to the final or to the final area of the game. No, we were basically at the final area of the game. I, I mean, like, finish off the final area of the game because that's going to be done within the last three parts of this playthrough. So, yes, I know we have to go back and finish off Ganon. Please don't remind me. Ah, I thought that was rupees. Oh well. That's okay. Now we can uh, get the shop guru over to the trader and with that said, he will finally get what he wants. And with that, this will make our 15th heart. <coughs> And I will see you guys in part 43 when we proceed to Ganon's Tower, because, of course, there's one last refight we need to deal with. This is RVMan 985. Prepare yourselves for the return of Phantom Ganon.